Yes. Yes. Yes! Yeah! Night of the Phantoms, my favorite time in Animal Jam, next to Jamala Days, has arrived. <gasps> beautiful pumpkin head, that's beautiful, that's such aesthetic. Honestly, I love this time of year, forgive me for getting so hyped, but I love the Night of the Phantoms, especially in Play Wild. I know, I'm like, what, a week late now, but hey, I had a busy week, you gotta forgive me, okay? I had school, I had essays to write. I still have all that stuff to worry about. But gosh dang, this time of year is too important for me to not make a video on. Yeah, I know I changed my intro, but there's a reason for that. Since I have moved to Play Wild now, I really want to reflect my Play Wild look because it's grown on me. I think I've decided to evolve a little bit and let go of the sweater part. I mean, yeah, that's part of my PC look. I'm still gonna have a Phantom Beanie as part of my main look, but the sweater is not really mandatory anymore. I love the tattered vest and the trendy hat and the Phantom Beanie, of course. Okay, Ellipsity, before you go on a tangent, just say that you changed the intro because it fits with your Play Wild look. There. That's the simple answer to it. Moving on now. Can we just talk about this den? Honestly, this den, ugh. It's every phantom's dream. The music is incredible. It sounds kind of like Stranger Things or some sci-fi film. Either way, I love it. And because of this, I'm gonna make season four of Life is Full of Phantoms have both AJ Play Wild and AJ PC dens. Yes, I'm gonna mix the universes into one series in the fourth and final season of Life is Full of Phantoms because these dens are just too good not to use. You know what, Ellipsity? You'd probably make this video more enjoyable if you stopped going on tangents and did something productive for a change, like visiting your buddies in the Phantom Dimension. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna visit my brother and sister phantoms in the Phantom Dimension, and we're gonna teach them that it's not nice to attack jammers. So, yeah. Watch as I punish every single one of them. What are y'all doing here? Here to teach you a lesson, Georgie. Try to invade the jam world, huh? Well, not on my watch. How dare you betray your phantom kind? Whatever, eat phantom goop. All right, who's next? Ah, if it isn't Bobby. How are you today? How will you be after this? Ah! Take that, wannabe phantom king! Oh, you're gonna see what I'm capable of. I am your Phantom King, not whoever this is. You know what? I'm gonna find out who this so-called Phantom King is, because he's making me look bad. You know what? I am done babysitting the Kindergartner Phantoms. I'm just gonna go do a pack run and visit my favorite witch friends, Bertha, Becca, and Brianna. They make the best potions in the world. I'm gonna go have some. Trick or treat, Bertha! <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I speak fluent witch. Yes, I want one of your potions. But why not, Bertha? I came all this way. You know what? Forget it, Bertha. I'm just gonna go ask Becca and Brianna. Let's hope they're nicer. Becca, Brianna, I want to drink some of your potions and get poisoned. Oh, come on. Not you two. Listen, if I get poisoned, it's my fault. Ugh, you know what? Forget you both. All you witches in this neighborhood are so rude. Ah! How could someone be so cold? I just asked for some potions. I wasn't really gonna poison myself. I just wanted to see if I transformed into something else. I don't know. Whatever potions can do. <gasps> Is that a purple river? It's a legit purple river. <laughs> If you watch Life is Full of Phantoms, you understand what the Purple River is. Okay, what am I even doing at this point? This is literally one of the worst videos I've ever made. None of this has been thought through. I'm just pulling random stuff out of my tail in hopes that'll make people happy. I don't know. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Before this video ends, don't forget the Jambassador plushie giveaway, or specifically the Ellipsity plushie giveaway, ends this Friday, October 11th. All you have to do is just watch episodes 1 and 2 of Paws and Flaws, take the quiz at the end of episode 2, and you will await the results, basically, you know? Five people will be gifted plushies, and everyone else, you know what? After this, I might put my plushie in the claw. I don't know yet, but I just really feel now... Okay, can that annoying ghost lady stop doing whatever she's doing with her mouth? I don't- I can't call it singing. I- I don't know. Whatever it is doing. Can it stop? Can she stop? It's not scary. It's just annoying. 
Oh my goodness, there she goes again. Stop it, ghost lady. It's not scary, it's just annoying. Now, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by a ghost, I am, in fact, considering putting my plushies in the claw, because I realized, looking back this past week, it's kind of unfair that only five people get rewarded for taking the quiz and passing it. And since I hardly have time to get on PC as it is, may as well just put the plushies in the claw. After this giveaway ends, I want to know what you guys think. Should I put my plushies in the claw or not? Hey, ghost! I said be quiet! Oh, right. You're see-through. I can't do anything to you. This video sucks.